Hi, so this is a demonstration of the signature editor as it's going to appear in 0 0.094, hopefully by January 2014, but you never know. So let's start with a new signature here from the new document dialog. Let's expand that out. So uh, here's the, the newfangled editor. It's very similar to the old one. Uh, with a couple additional helpers, so you can uh, on screen up here change the number of pages you're expecting to use, and you can preview uh, what each sheet is going to look like, what each printer sheet, and also uh, change things uh, a little bit more accessibly uh, just by flicking through uh, letter paper sizes and orientation, or you can still do the the right button and select paper size and all of that. So uh, most of the controls for the paper are the same. There's an indicator now for uh, whether you can drag to change the number of tiles, for instance. You see it's repeated in each of these tiles. You can wheel up to change or you can drag. Um, let's see, let's go back to a single tile. Um, also there's still the this arrows you can just drag around for inset values. Uh, there's you just drag for the gap between tiles. Uh, let's see the binding edge. Of course, you can change how it's going to be bound. Uh, left, right, top for calendars, perhaps, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's proceed with a booklet. So I'm going to make one fold line. Actually, let's make it more challenging. So I'll have a. Uh, one, two, three, a six fold one, making 16 pages per sheet f per side. So now I can uh, fold these down however it's going to actually go. Uh, so now there's your final size. Let's bump this up to tabloid. So it's two point something by four and a quarter. Uh, let's see, I wonder if my... oh, there it is. Okay, so 2.75, so 2 and 3 quarter by 4 and a quarter is the final size for this particular signature. There's 32 pages per uh, signature. Uh, now if you press down, it'll center on the this brand new feature, which is the overall signature layout. So you can have different uh, sizes of signatures now. So let's say you have... Uh, a number of pages that uh, fit all in. They don't quite fit in uh, one sheet. Like let's say you have a signature that has two sheets that's folded all up like that, but you have an additional number of pages that you don't quite need two sheets for. You only need one sheet, so you can have the same signature, uh, and now you can do it in, in that sort of block. You can control specifically how many sheets per signature if there's a little star, that means that there's you can, you're automatically going to add sheets to compensate for numbers of pages. So now when you increase the page numbers, uh, each time you increase, it'll add only as many pages as you need per sheet. So like there's, it'll add automatically one by one, however many sheets you need. Uh, let's see. All right, and uh, not only can you stack signatures next to each other. Of different sizes. Oh, and by the way, the you can change the orientation and all that uh, per signature, so it doesn't have to be the same for each. So, like, let's say you have a, a one printer that prints color really high quality, but you can't print very large pages, so you can reduce the size. Uh, you might have to tinker with the uh, how many folds and whatnot to actually get the final size to match right. Uh, ultimately, I hope to implement uh, helpers that'll make that easier. In any case, it is possible to do it. You just have to tinker with things manually. Then when you go back here, it's still the, the larger size. All right, so uh, similarly, not only can you stack up things next to each other, you can also insert different impositions. So like the uses for that, for instance, is when you have one sheet that's going to be printed in color, say, and the rest are going to be black and white. Uh, let's say you're doing a magazine or something, a low, a DIY magazine or whatnot. So if you make this specifically one sheet and have these others automatically adding sheets, uh, that's what the star means. Then you, now when you change the number of pages, uh, that one sheet will stay the same and you can adjust upwards or downwards until you have 
the number of sheets that you're looking for. And that middle one, the collar sheet, stays as one, just one sheet of those, and the rest are black and white. Anyway, and you can browse through the old folds just as before. Uh, then when you have a lot of folds, by the way, that's where this is more useful because it, it'll preview with the specific numbers of pages that appear on that particular printer sheet. It's very convenient for debugging, making sure that you're folding exactly how you're expecting to be folding. <laughs> 